The annealing, what is that? Ah, so annealing, um, you have both classical and quantum versions of that. And there's a, also physical versions, and then we imitate it computationally to do optimization problems. And we have classical computers that can do um, annealing that um, follow basically the trajectory we're seeing here, where they're trying to find the lowest point in a landscape. So we're, they're trying to minimize a cost function, for example, for a problem where we want to find the minimum cost of something. If you just take the naive approach of climbing downhill as fast as possible and then um, get stuck because you're not willing to climb back uphill, you can get in a low point, but it's often not the lowest point. So there's an annealing um, where you carefully control what's called the temperature, which tells you how much, how frequently you'll be willing to go uphill. And so when the temperature is warm, um, you're willing to go uphill a lot. And as things cool down, you'll tend to stay in those minimums. And to be clear, the, the you that is willing to go up or downhill are photons? They can be, um, uh, they can be photons or bits. And you or, scientists have ways of keeping um, track of them to see what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, so they're really, uh, they're really um, states of a whole bunch of bits or qubits. Just to be clear, a qubit is a quantum bit, is that right? Q-U-B-I-T? That's right. All right. That's right. And tunneling, what is that? So instead of, um, so in, in classical case, when you get stuck in one of these minima, the only thing you can do is climb back out. In the quantum case, you have tunneling available to you where you can with some probability go through a barrier. And this can be very, very useful if, for example, you want to get to a minimum on the other side of a very narrow barrier. That might be very, very hard to climb out of, but relatively easy to tunnel Forgive there. me, with some probability you may be able to go through a barrier. If I get up and walk into that wall, the probability is 100%. I'm not gonna go through No, it, it isn't. It isn't? Nope. You mean there's a probability that I could walk through that wall? Yes. Yeah. It's another human subject experiment. Uh, <laughs> point, point zero, 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 Do zero, not zero, sign zero, me one. up. <laughs> <laughs> point zero, 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 one. We have probably a lot oh, more zeros. A lot more zeros. Eventually but, one. So all my, my, all my the atoms chance, would, The chance is very, very small. And all my atoms would go through all the atoms there and just... It could happen. And we don't have enough time for you to try it hmm. that many no, no, times. No, 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 but. We value your presence. <laughs>